Okay. We're on July 25th. Uh, we, we skipped last week on the reviews, but we got one for this Wednesday review for the extra usual review. And I want to tell you that uh, a benefit of losing weight is that I can order stupid shirts off the internet that fit. Do you see my new reigning uh, hide and seek world champion t-shirt? I ordered that, it came in this week. So <laughs> when you lose weight, you get to buy stupid shit like this. So, all right, so I'm sporting my new shirt, but I still got my DDP hat and, and thermal water bottle. All right, uh, to this week, we're gonna try ranch dressings. Um, we were looking around at Ann's Health Foods for something to try, and we thought ranch dressings would be interesting to see if they meet our dietary requirements. We picked up uh, Dahlia, and it's it was four twenty nine at Ann's, and it's non GMO, expeller pressed canola oil, water, white vinegar, cane sugar, sea salt, potato, starch, potato protein, whole alger flour, vegan natural flavors, vegan cultured dextrose, xanthan gum, lemon juice concentrate, spices, and garlic. And it's certified vegan. So this is a vegan ranch dressing. It's dairy free, gluten and soy free, and egg free. So this this definitely hits all our requirements. Uh, all, checks all our boxes. I guess it's not not organic, but it's um, checks all the other boxes. So we're gonna try. To shake it up. Try the dahlia. No, am I supposed to shake it up? You probably should shake it up. Ranch? Well, it's been sitting there. Man, it's thick. Try to shake it up. Uh oh. Let me get let me get paper towel. Okay. Alright. Let's see if we can get this. Like a Heinz ketchup trying to get this stuff out. Alright. There's the dahlia. Home style. Ranch dressing. The second one we picked up was Hidden Valley Organic. We liked it because it was the only true organic one. It says 140 calories per serving. It's USDA certified organic. Ingredients are organic soybean oil, water, organic vinegar, organic sugar, organic egg yolk, organic buttermilk, or organic buttermilk blend, organic buttermilk, organic skim milk, Less than 2% of dried organic garlic, dried organic onion, organic spices, salt, organic lemon juice, juice concentrate, organic rosemary extract, inactive organic dry yeast, organic cornstarch, lactic acid, natural flavor, and xanthan gum. Contains egg milk. So this one is gluten free and non GMO and organic, but it has milk in it, but it's uh, organic milk and so you know I think it's um, from cows that have not been fed um, GMO grain and that kind of stuff it's certified organic so we decided to go ahead and give it a try we, we have been avoiding all dairy uh, but this was the only true organic one it's not near as thick as the as the dahlia Last one we picked was the Primal Kitchen Vegan Ranch. On the, the Hidden Valley was $5.79 at Ann's. And the Primal Kitchen uh, Vegan Ranch is $5.79. This one is Whole30 approved, paleo friendly, sore, and canola free, egg and dairy free, sugar free. It's. Uh, Gluten and grain free. It's ingredients are avocado oil, water, organic apple cider, uh, cider vinegar, organic distilled vinegar, organic gum, acacia, organic guar gum, sea salt, cream of tartar, organic lemon juice, concentrate, organic onion powder, organic garlic powder, nutritional yeast, organic mustard flour, organic parsley, um, organic. Garlic powder, I think I skipped something. Organic mustard, organic parsley, organic chives, organic dill, organic black powder and pepper, and organic rosemary extract. So I guess it's 
And though, although it's not, it doesn't say organic, most, almost all the ingredients are organic. So this one kind of checks all our boxes. No. This is the only one that really checks all our boxes, but it's not certified, USDA certified organic. I wonder. It's kind of separated, so I didn't need to shake it up. It's not that near as like thick. soup. Yeah, it's running. All right, to test it today, we got uh, celery, organic celery. We got way better sweet potato, non-GMO, certified non-GMO, gluten-free sweet potato, whole grain <laughs> corn tortilla chips. What are you laughing about? Flip this off. Oh, I'm shooting my fingers. <laughs> and, we get, and we've got organic spring mix, USDA organic spring mix. You can, Mary got it at HEB. It's out of date. Don't look at the date, but we're going to eat it anyway. Oh, all right. And we got organic celery. All right. So which one do you want to try first? Let's try the runny one um, first. The, the, the primal, primal vegan. vegan. I think you need to check it. And the whole thing that way. This is the one that, that tests all our. All our I don't. I don't think you're right. It's just a runny top. Yeah, it's more out, see. yeah, that's just the way it is. We got. We go. The viscosity. The viscosity increases as we go. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, there you go. All right. Let's go with the celery. Celery. Open my PVP water bottle. Man. In case you gotta rinse your mouth out real quick. Yeah. Man, it's runny. <laughs> yeah. Put that on salad. Good. Double dipping is just my wife and I. I mean, yeah, it's alright. Pretty tangy. Mm -hmm. Almost like a Italian tangy kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good though. It's almost like a creamy Italian rather than. Yeah. The taste is good. And yeah, it's all good. Stuff. I could eat this on a salad. That's edible. I, I could wish do it was it. a little thicker. Mm hmm. That make it a little thicker, but. Not bad. Good. I eat that on the Mm-hmm. Good. All right. Thumbs it gets a up. thumbs up. We All right. Two thumbs up on the vegan ranch, except for the viscosity. It, it gets a low viscosity rating. <laughs> let's see what let's see what the organic spring mix is. The outdated organic spring mix. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. It's kind of like a cross between Italian and... Yeah, and, I got an uh, Italian feel from it. Yeah, Italian and ranch. It's good, cross. but it's, yeah, it's, I think it's more Italian. All right, clean your palate. Oh, wow, Bigfoot. Oh, Bigfoot got some, that's that viscosity rating. <laughs> All right, now this is the Hidden Valley Organic. This is the only one that contains dairy. But it's in the valley. Like organic dairy. I don't like that one as much. I like that one better. This one tastes like a bland organic, I mean a bland Hidden Valley Ranch. Kind of like a... Yeah, it's not your normal Hidden Valley Ranch, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. That's not bad, I'd eat it. But I like that one much better. Yeah. I don't know. I can't put my finger on it, but it's not as good. Yeah. That one just it's okay, but it just doesn't have any any extra it doesn't have any extra flavor to the stuff. Hmm. Oh. We'll give that a oh shit. Halfway. It's a halfway. Not a thumbs up. Not a thumbs down. Alright. This is not a review for kids. Alright. Alright. <laughs> Last one. Alright, this is the Daya Homestyle Ranch. Homestyle Ranch. This is everything but organic. 
dairy free, gluten free, soy free. This was the cheapest one, four twenty nine. I'm gonna have some outdated spinach. spinach. And this is definitely the thickest. This is like a we didn't have to have to shake it up or anything. Honestly? It's hard to get out of That the one tastes the most like ranch. Yeah. That oh, one good. is good. very good. Tastes the most like ranch. It's got a little tangy to it, though. I like it. I think that that one's tangier than that one. This one's bland. This one tastes like ranch. This one tastes like Italian, like creamy Italian. Mm -hmm. And it's good, but I wouldn't say it's ranch. I would say it's Italian. That one tastes like ranch. Yep. Yep. I agree. Let's try the outdated spring mix on it. Dip your spring mix in there. Let me get the spring mix in the true test. All right. Which one is Bigfoot pick? Daya. Daya is one? Daya is number one. Two. Primal Kitchen. I mean, I kind of like this. I kind of like this one better than Daya. What? But, but that's not ranch. But yeah, but it's not really ranch. The, if you're it. comparing ranches, then I would say the Daya the is the best. Ranch, yeah. All right. All right, I'll agree with you. But right. that one is very good. The Primal Kitchen is very good, but it's more of an Italian. All right, so we got one, two, two and three. three. Not right. that the Hidden Valley is bad, it's just kind of boring. It's bland. I think the homestyle dias taste more like ranch than the Hidden Valley organic. All right, that's our review for the week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for letting me show off my new Bigfoot T-shirt, reigning world champion in the hide and seek contest. DDP, we'll see you next week. Bang! Bang! <laughs>